Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for those who are new here, this is another episode of Let's Talk About It. So how are you doing everybody? And before we go further, kindly click the subscribe button and let's get to the video. So peeps, today we'll be talking about mental health. Mental health, mental health, mental health have become this talk, has become the song of everybody currently. Uh, it is a very important subject. Again, it is a very worrying matter, especially in our current status. So today I'll be giving you three, three practices that uh, you can do to ensure optimal mental health. So, number one. I would like to, to talk about the path that we have decided to take, you and I, the path that you take, the path that I take to ensure that our daily activities are running out well. So the question is, we have chosen our paths, right? But have we truly accepted the paths that we have chosen? I'll talk about acceptance. Acceptance is is a very powerful term because acceptance is, is like a declaration. It's, it's a declaration of what we want to do or rather where we want to go, right? So we have the path, but have we truly accepted the path that we have chosen? Number one, do we question ourselves like, is it the right thing to do? Am I doing enough? You know, am I doing more than is required? Am I doing it uh, at the right time? You know, have you accepted? Because uh, choosing a path comes about with making a decision, right? And you know, when you're making a decision, you have weighed. You have weighed the setbacks, the comebacks, you know, the challenges you're going to face, the, the advantages, you know, the disadvantages. Like, you really prepared. But have you accepted, like, to face the whole situation? Choosing is one thing, but accepting again is another thing. So, have we accepted the path that we have chosen in carrying our daily? activities of the day do you regret maybe you could have done it a different way you know that again brings a mental disorder do you feel like somebody else is, is doing better than than you are doing yet they're they're in the same path with you so it first of all comes with accepting now, now accepting brings about mental stability and then when you have mental stability then you have mental health how do we bring about acceptance in mental health one it's accepting that the path you have chosen you are doing what it takes to have a good life and you are giving it your best it's not like you should be some you should be doing something you know and again you are not putting the maximum effort that you should be doing so it comes again with asking yourself why am i not doing enough it is accepting that you are doing whatever you can do in that situation to make your life better accept stop battling with your mind stop battling with can i do something better if you know you are giving it your best and the results are not coming in, the returns are not coming in as they should be, accept. Because it's a journey. It's a journey. It's not like you you, you, you wake up today and you know, well, a, a silver place. No. It's going to be a journey. So have you accepted the comebacks, the setbacks, the challenges, you know? All the things that are going to bring you down. Have you accepted that is the path you are going to take? Or you're just choosing a path because other people are doing it. Have you groomed yourself enough for the journey? Because it's a journey. So I advocate for acceptance. Accept. Whatever the situation is, accept first. Then now look on how to deal with it. 
because accepting now umekubali yeah like you must you know this is happening and this is happening i accept so when you accept you now open your mind and you give your mind a free space now look into it like how can you make the situation better when you accept it gives you the mental stability that you need to face the situation better then wherever there is mental stability it comes about mental health and that how you keep with your daily activities or with your journey it's, it's not like it's going to be a better process now but you have to accept first in order to avoid the anxiety to avoid the depression because those are two main key factors that bring about mental disorder anxiety and depression so in every situation i would like you to accept accept and now give yourself the, the space give yourself the calmness you know to handle the situation in a different way number two number two i will love to talk about the storm how about the storm i would like to talk about finding calm within the storm it's difficult i know it's very difficult but what do you do when you're experiencing a storm because i would say maintaining is so 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 much better than starting over what do you think so how can you find calmness within your storm how can you be calm when you're experiencing a storm or when you're facing a storm look for things you love doing yeah? do you love swimming do you love painting you know do you love drawing and in those things that you love doing I'll advocate that you look for something that could be a form of expression something that is going to help you pour out your feelings you know something that is going to enable you to let out your emotions freely without the fear of somebody is going to judge me without the fear of somebody is going to discriminate me you know without the fear of what will people think about it because it's basically something that you love doing as for me i love dancing ish when it comes to the moves you know i love singing when it comes to praising when it comes to some sweet vocals i'm there but then that's what i do when it comes to when i'm when i'm experiencing a mental disorder like i'm feeling now it's really it's really so much that i can take i put some very loud music and i dance you know i literally dance get to the mo eh, 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 eh. i dance i really dance a lot and i sing along with the lyrics that i know you know koko sawa min kosawa see and by the end of it i figure out how to solve that situation i figure out how to get down with that stress because through the songs i get to express myself you know maybe i'm having on swings and i feel i feel like i'm a little bit sad you know i put some 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 blues some arrangements please don't judge me and i won't judge you and then I'm, I'm 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 feeling like i need some energy i need some energy you know hmm na mina eh eh that's what i do so that's what i do and trust me you trust me you by the time i'm done to i'm done with all the shaking with all the dancing i'm like yeah you got this you got this you know I'm like so finding the calmness within the storm if you love drawing find creativity in that drawing take a blank paper pour out some paintings and within the activity of you pouring out some paintings into the blank paper i'm sure you'll have figured out some creativity maybe how to draw something that you've been trying to draw like me now when i'm dancing i really try to cut some moves like i feel you know me nishindanga you know me nishindanga so i'm there i really do it i really try it you know and by the end of the day i'm like yeah so if you love drawing draw Draw, draw just express yourself there if you're looking for some some 
some calm environment pour it out into that paper you know if, if you are looking for some 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 exciting environment you know also just something whatever you're feeling in your heart just pour it now if you love writing get out to it get a paper get a pen nobody is there to judge you nobody is going to listen to your story nobody is going to listen to how it may be you have stress at your work of place you know you're not getting along well with the workers the place you are you stay it takes a lot of time you always get late and your boss is not impressed you're putting it down on a paper so nobody will be there to judge you so find that calmness how are you going to find that calmness by something you love doing if you love cooking that's youtube some good recipe go to the market do your shopping come back cook. by the time you 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 you're done with your cooking or whatever the activity you already come and now you sit down in your sober mind you know you're already stable in your mental health or you're already stable in you know whatever state that you were in before now you've you have got some energy back and you're like yeah we're going to handle it you know and by the end of the day you'll be good to go because when you have a storm you have something you can do to keep you off the thought of whatever you're experiencing, right? And then now you bring yourself back slowly, slowly, slowly. You accept it, you consume it, then figure out how now to solve it because you've already taken some activity far from what you're supposed to be doing. And now you're good to go. So yeah, make sure you find that calmness within your strong and trust me, you will so so much better you know it's not that i don't advocate for going to talk to somebody but you know people are too judgmental and all that so until you have found the right person to talk to make sure you find it within yourself talk to yourself through the paper through the painting through the dancing you know through prayers whatever you love doing through praising just get into it and by the end of the day you will feel so so much better yeah finding the storm Finding the calmness within the storm, sorry, and you'll be good to go. Yeah, like I take the moves down, 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 and up. Yeah, you're good to go. And then I'll be like, Yeah, I don't know what to do with that problem. I know you may go see an knee and sort it out. Not the last, but not the last, last, last. The last in my list is for now. come back to the house you know talk to your loved ones talk to your family tell them this is how my day has been how has your day been this is a, these are the challenges that i had at my workplace and so what take supper go to sleep and get ready for another mild 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 man day so with that kind of an uh, um, a routine how do you get to find out what you possess within you because you know sometimes we get into situations that we don't even how to unlock them right sometimes we, we we encounter so many difficulties that we don't even know how to face them like like when you when you're facing depression you, you some many of us we don't even know how to how to handle depression or we don't know how to get out of the situation so you see if you held that one thing that that you you, you hold on to because at times yeah you get into a situation and, and you find a solution within yourself that you didn't even know exist that is your superpower whatever you possess inside you that nobody else has and you know when you really know your superpower it really helps you throughout the situations because you really get to hold on to them because you really need that one thing that you hold on to you 
really need it because it's something within you and it's something that you will not need someone to provide it for you it's within you so when things are going down you know when things are not kicking out when the bills are not coming out through you know when the school fees is not there when your friendships are not the right friendships and you just realize too late what is that one thing that you What is one thing that you always know that you can use to unlock your situation? Yeah. What is one thing that you hold on to? What is that one thing that is inside you that you know it can't let me down? That's my God. That's my God. It can't let me down. What do you hold on to? Let me take a glass of water. Just a minute. taking time maybe to read a book you know or i'm taking time to to take a walk in the park or today i'm taking it's it's, it's my it's my day today i'm doing me today no friends nobody just me and that's how you get to know what you can do and what you cannot do and that's how you get to know ah kumbe i'm really capable of this so Comment. 
comment down below any question that you have pop it out maybe we can talk about it in our next video or um, any comment that you have please and please 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 the only way you can support my content is by subscribing you know and sharing and commenting so yeah until next time